Hey everybody, you've made it to the Jed Said Therapy channel where a little awareness goes a long way. My name is Jed Thorpe, licensed therapist, and if you've ever wondered why some people seem mad about religion, well, I think you might like this video. Stay tuned, we're going to talk about this psychological term called scrupulosity. All right, and welcome back. I'm glad you're here. That didn't take long. Hey, while you're here, be sure to push the subscribe button or the like button, the follow button. And if you think this information is good, worthy, worthwhile of somebody that, hey, I think they should know this, go ahead and send it. Share this good emotional intelligence information. Now, let's get into this whole term scrupulosity. Think of it like it's your brain deciding to have a never ending party and you're the only guest. It's, it's obsessive, religious, unwanted, blasphemous thoughts. Maybe even compulsive rituals. You know, you're doing things over and over. Wrap all that up with a, a lot of guilt and anxiety and you've got all the makings of scrupulosity. Now, let's talk origins of scrupulosity. It's just a longer version of the word scruples, which is a religious folk come up with that, like Catholics and Baptists and, and even Mormons. I'm in Utah. So they use that to describe just a bunch of concern about their sins. You know, it's just sweating bullets over whether or not they're, they're going to get into heaven. You know, oh no, I, I skipped a prayer. Oh no, I had a bad thought. Ah. Whew. That's a good sign that there's some scrupulosity going on. This is good information to know because when you understand that a thing called scrupulosity exists, it'll help you to recognize, to normalize that, uh, hey, it's just a brain quirk. It's just a psychological thing got going on. It's not a big deal. A lot of people have it. And you don't have to, by the way, be religious to have scrupulosity, rituals, excessive fear of not meeting deadlines, you know, just it's almost like an overactive sense of cognitive dissonance where you have these values and if they're out of alignment with your behavior for any reason, like, ah, you just go on to high alert. It's an excessive amount of fear, guilt, dread, uh, you know, like, besides, you know, with religion, fear is a weird thing to even add into the mix, isn't it? Fear. I'm going to fear. Ah, religious is typically love-based, like connection-based, acceptance-based, non-judgment-based. <laughs> so that might help just to recognize that you might have some scrupulosity going on. Hey, this isn't in the DSM-5. Scrupulosity, it often masquerades as OCD. You've probably thought, hey, this sounds like obsession compulsive disorder. It's not. Scrupulosity is not in the DSM-5. So it's not officially recognized by the psychology community. So at this point, it's is more like pop psychology. You know what I mean? Fake psychology. <laughs> I, I probably should have told you at the beginning that we're going to talk about some fake psychology because it's not in here. You know, people think it's connected with OCD, but again, not enough studies have been done. This is just fun to talk about. And, and with that bit of information, know also the knowledge is power, G.I. Joe had it right, you know? And knowing is half the battle, that's what they say. So, hey, and now now you know. If you're having these symptoms, you're like, oh my gosh, I, ah, I thought it was just me. No, this is a, a brain quirk. We're normalizing this on some level. Everybody has brain quirks. Everybody, everybody has something going on. That's just being human. So <laughs> there you I'm gonna end this. I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more Jed Said Therapy content, just go to the website, www.jedsaidtherapy.com. And until next time, awareness up.